So Nathan, it was the uh, ideal start for Whitby Town here, opening day of the season, and three points. You must be delighted with that start there. Yeah, um, got us many more opening day of the season. Uh, we're a game, tough place to come, hard pitch. Um, we ground out a good 1 0 win, yeah, so a clean sheet as well. Yeah, and as obviously as well, we'd be getting the goal, well, essentially the first attack of the game, but well taken finish there by Marcus Giles. Yeah, it was, it was a great finish. It's, it's something we've worked on. Um, we've locked Lancaster numerous times, we knew where we could get to them. We didn't exploit as much as we'd like through the 90 minutes, but um, we certainly did it then, and yeah, it was, a, it was a great goal that came at a key time for us. Yeah, and then obviously as the half one, there weren't really that many chances in the first half, but I suppose a big turning point perhaps you could say was uh, obviously Lancaster went out of 10 men. Uh, what was your view on that challenge? Yeah, probably had a decent Yeah, I, was, yeah I had a great, great view of it. Um, it, it. It was a setting off in my opinion. Uh, the kids got in high. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think the ref got the decision right on that. Yeah, but uh, it's fairness to Lancaster, I suppose, it didn't seem to affect them uh, too greatly. You still managed, especially in that second half, put a lot of uh, decent balls into the air, which probably made it hard for Whitby to defend with, but they did do well in fairness. Yeah, they, they, they went very direct. It's you know, it, it's strange. They always say it's harder to play against 10 men, and in, in our case, we, we were struggling with that. We should have kept the ball more, and um, we didn't. But the fair play to Lancaster because the, um, you know, there was plenty of balls going in the box, but ultimately our, uh, our defenders have stood up to that challenge. Yeah, and obviously new signing coming in as well, uh, Jake Hackett coming off the bench, but uh, yesterday it announced as well with Josh McDonald signing, he certainly saw what it's all about in that first half especially. Yeah, there's there's, there's more to come from Josh, um, it, it's more match fitness than anything, he's in a full pre-season, um, but yeah, we, we want to get more minutes into him, but he'll, he'll, he'll do very well for us in this league, I've got, I've got no doubt about that. Yeah, and he's a sort of player as well that you mentioned that you, you really admire his style of play and you reckon he can cause quite a lot of problems for a lot of teams in this division. Yeah, absolutely no doubt. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pleased we've got him. I didn't think there'd be a chance of us getting him. Um, it all came about quite late in the day. Um, we got him over the line and, yeah, like I said, I've, I've, known, the, I've known the boy a long time. Um, I know what his strengths are. And, um, yeah, we, we need to start utilising that, obviously, as the players get to know him. Yeah, another player coming in, as course, I mentioned, was uh, Jay Cackett, and he's someone that a lot of Whitby fans know quite a bit about from his loan spells with the club, so uh, how pleased are you to have him in as well? Delighted, delighted again. Came about late in the day. He, uh, he's been training with us a couple of times. It, it's clear to see he's a, he's a footballer. Um, he's composed and he's, 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 he's got everything we're looking for. So, yeah, he's come in and you know he's going to have to earn the right to, uh, to earn a place in the team, but he's come on today and he's done really, really well. Yeah, and just uh, looking ahead, really, now, next up, back to league action Tuesday night, the first home game against uh, a Radcliffe side, and that was one of the side, few sides actually got to play last season, so you know quite a bit about them. Radcliffe, good team, good team. Um, yeah, they're, they're obviously coming over to our place from Manchester. Um, he's, he's made some good, good signings late. We're expecting a, a tough game, they're a football inside. They can mix it up and be direct as well. Um, so, yeah, it's, you know, it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, and uh, well, we only had a few home games last year, but it was clear to see that home home form was going to be strong for Whitby, so that'd be another key aim this coming season. Imagine just to, to really get a lot of the points out of home, especially. Yeah, without a doubt, we you know the, the intention is to make Turnbull a fortress. Um, you know the the pitch is conducive to how we play. Um, you know, we, like I say, we we done really well there last year, and, and that's the intention moving forward as well. Yeah, one I suppose, small issue again in the, the what we had last season was the away form. So you were pleased as well that you managed to get that first competitive away win under your belt as well. Yeah, yeah, well, certainly. Um, you know, away games in this league are really, really hard. You've obviously got the travel in there, um, not used to obviously the pitch, um, and you, you've got to mix your game up in this league. So it's it's again, I'll just reiterate, it's a credit to the lads today because they've had the really, really mucking against ten men physically, mentally. Um, they stood up to the challenge, so we're going to expect a lot more of that in away games moving forward. Thank you, Nathan.